just don't believe it. Well, it's not the end of the world, you know. This guy says he's been here 21 years. Starsky, there are other toy stores. Not like Uncle Elmo's. Even when I was a kid, Elmo had everything. Battery-powered cars, dancing mice, a total quest dummy. One year, he even had these tiny little singing goldfish. Yeah? They probably grew up and their voices changed. You know, I'll bet old Uncle Elmo was like a second father to all you kids here in this neighborhood. Yeah. How'd you know? Because you've been talking about him for three hours now. Starsky, kids grow up. Uncle Elmo's retire, move away. The world marches on. Toy shops close up. Listen, look. There's this nice little toy shop I know over by Lisa's place. But at least over there, the owner can tell us what some of her friends have gotten for her birthday, you know? You're like a man without a heart, you know? Now, why don't you ask me to stab my own mother in the back? Look, there is a thing called loyalty. Elmo's probably a very old man right now. He probably needs our business. All units, oh, all really. units in the vicinity of Elder and Second. The 211 in progress at the laundromat at that address. That's just around the corner from here. Yeah? Where are you going? Shortcut. It's probably gone, too. Zebra 3, we are responding. straight in there, those women will all end up dead. Yeah. Give me a shirt and jacket, will you? Huh? What? Huh? You don't expect me to go into a laundromat without my laundry? Come on. Boy, of all the highfalutin ideas. About Uncle Elmo. Looks like he grew up, too. You know what they say. You never can go home again. It's not big enough, Stars. What do you mean it's not big enough? It's not big enough. Hey, be with you in a second, buddy. Hey, I'm, I'm talking to you. Hey, what the hell's going on here? Just get back against those machines. Oh, yes, sir. Now. Yes, sir. Now. Yes, sir. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I walk into a laundromat, the guy's pointing a gun at me. What am I supposed to do? Huh? Put my clothes in a washing machine? It only take 20 minutes to spin dry. Don't get angry with me. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Now, ladies, you want to tell me what happened here? Ma'am, you all right? Next time, bring your tea, huh? What are you doing here? Playing. This is for kids, and you're not a kid. I'm buying a present for a kid. I'm going to a birthday party. Are you a kid? Yeah, he's my partner. 
We're policemen. I heard him ask Amanda if he wanted a present, so he said, Grant. That's right. We're going to her birthday party. You know her? Yeah, I know her. Boy, are you dumb. What do you mean? Nobody sees them at a dog. This is a girl, and girls don't play with trains. Chauvinist. You having problems, little boy? Hmm? What's Lisa hanging around with a kid like that for, huh? It wasn't at last year's birthday party, was it? No, I don't think so. Hey, cheer up. With any luck, by this time next year, that kid will have outgrown Lisa and the train set, huh? Hmm. Yeah, what? You want to see what we're getting? Yeah. Hey. Terrific. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you punch her in the stomach. She says, Ma, you, you pulled a string in the bag. She said, don't touch me. I hardly know you. And don't lift the arm. What? You lift the arm, she wets. Since kids 8 to 11 love her. How does this look, huh? I like it better in red. Let's split. Come on, we gotta get some bread together. Relax, will ya? Hey, man, the man is talking about breaking our legs if we don't come up with the money we owe him. Hey, Mousy, if you don't like it, why don't you just go away? We'll get the man's money, no problem. But first things first, right now, that happens to be a little pleasure. She comes now, right on time. You're not going to do what I think hey! you Hey! What's the matter with you, Mousy? Don't you like a good time? She's fair game, same as any other chick. Oh, man, won't you ever learn? The last time they put you in the joint for this. Hey, last time I didn't have you for a lookout. You back out now and I'll kill you. Don't fall! Don't fall! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. Hey, no problem. Well, say, uh, why are you so happy today? Today's my birthday. No kidding. I'm going to have a party. A party? Isn't that great? Uh-huh. Oh, well, uh, could I come? Sure. Thanks. But I have to take a book back to the library first. Oh, yeah? You're going downtown like you usually do, huh? Yes. Well, say, it's, uh, it's a different bus today. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're lucky. It's a flyer. Yeah, come on. I'll show you where it is. Oh. Hi. Stay close now. We go down to the end of this bus, and then it's the, uh, it's the third bus over. Two, three. This is it. This is the one. Oh. Thank you. You bet. Are you going downtown, too? Yeah.
Uh, you can watch that. Leave your finger there, will you? You know, there's a saying about South Hearted cops. They end up broke. Yeah? I want to see one of you in my office. I'm coming. Just, uh, uh, just watch that, will you? Stasky. Yeah, Cam, what is it? I want you to put this in your things and take it to Lisa. I won't be able to make it to the party tonight. Oh, talk about soft hearted cops. <laughs> Look at this, Stasky. Soft hearted cop here. Don't leave that here. What? Birthday party's off. What are you talking about? Lisa. She was beaten and raped on the way to the library today. No, of course it isn't an imposition. Mitzi, we want to be there. Lisa's very important to us, too. Yes. Yes. We'll be there. Once in all, we'll pick her and Lisa up at the hospital. What time? About an hour and a half. Doc thinks it's a good Officer. idea. We want to have with the birthday Officer. party. Officer. Yeah. I think I found one of them. Hey, listen, I'll call you back. Robert Emmett Mousy Loomis? You sure? Yeah, I'm almost positive. Snarch, that doesn't make any sense. That man's no rapist. He's a two-bit thief. And if what we've heard from the joint from the time that he spent in there, he has a tendency to go the other way. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what he did in the joint. I remember them from before, when they tried to steal the cash box out of the bus that I drove. They. Who's they? Him and his buddy. All right, describe the other guy. He was heavy set. Uh, he was taller than the other fellow. Uh, and he had uh, light, light hair, light curly hair. Uh, do you see if you can recognize anybody? This page. Poor Lisa. Two and a half years. She rode my bus almost every day. You know, kids are usually a pain in the neck, but she never gave me any trouble. No doubt about it. That's him. That's him. You got it. Yeah, this is Hutchinson. I want an all points put out on two suspects. Robert Emmett Mousy Loomis, white male, age uh, 25. Yeah, I want to go to Yeah. John yeah. Manning, white male, age 33, wanted for rape and assault. Yeah, both men have long records. Should be considered dangerous and approached with extreme caution. <laughs> Okay, you have to decide. All right, now you guys stay right here a minute till we're ready. Don't go away. Well. Ken? Yeah? What is it, Lisa? Did they hurt me because I look grown up? Honey, I, uh... I hope you beat them up when you catch them. I hope you beat them and, and beat them. Well, you see, Lisa, if we did that, we wouldn't be much better than they are, would we? It's not that Starsky and I wouldn't like to hit them and hit them. But we're police officers, you know? Ready. Come on. by yours truly, Astarsky. Well, well, give him a little credit. Huh? Pretty. My 
birthday. Mm hmm Come on. Hey, you see this big one right here? Huh? This is from Hutch and yours truly. Why don't you tell her what's in it? I think I will. It's oh. terrific. You are going to do that. Oh. <laughs> Dave. Huh? Uh, would you come here a minute, please? Uh, yeah. Uh, don't open it until we get back, okay? Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is from Captain Bilby. So big. He <laughs> is big. A birthday girl, a birthday girl, a pill of a girl, a birthday girl. A birthday girl, a pill of a girl. Look at the cake, honey. Happy look, birthday. Look. interest you in an African canary? Not funny. You said you had some wood at Manny and Loomis. Well, you're not in the mood for much else, right? Look, the street is with you two guys on this one. I mean, there's two thugs who have been ripping off cars, CB radios, uh, hubcaps. It's desperation time. And the man with the cash is going to break their bodies. You mean they're into a shark? Yeah, a pretty big shark. A uh, new guy named Al Martin. Huggy, you got any idea how we can find Manning and Loomis? Well, I got to tell you, the heat you've been putting on them has been cooking the streets. I mean, there ain't many people who hide scum like those two, not after what they did to that girl. Fact is, from a paper hanger who prefers to remain anonymous, if you check the abandoned building on 6th Street, you just might find them. Thanks, sir. See anything? Nothing.
I didn't want no part of that girl. It was him. It was all him. All right, punk, where is he? You guys are going to believe me. I tried to stop him, but when he said he had to do it, it's crazy, just like all that talk on the joint. What are you talking about? All those fictional scores that he was supposed to wire us into. And I just laughed at his face and called him a punk. What does he have to do? Kill her. You idiot. I told him not to. What he said? He said if she was dead, she couldn't finger us. No more. Honey, I have to go to the drugstore to get a few things. Lisa, will you be all right? I won't cut my hair anymore, if that's what you mean. There's some milk in the refrigerator, right next to the peanut butter and bananas. <laughs> I love you so much. I'll bring you a surprise. Mama? Hmm. I love you too. I love you so much. <laughs> oh. Well, in that case, I'm going to get me a surprise, too. <laughs> now, uh, now you lock the door, and uh, I'll be right back, OK? Come on. Okay. Hungry. Susie.
This is a pre-trial hearing, Miss Graham. I'm going to ask you a few simple questions like a defense attorney might. I understand. Miss Graham, do you, uh, do you know how to read? Of course I do. Well, isn't it true that in order to board the bus where the alleged attack took place, you, uh, you had to walk around in front of it to the other side where the door was open? Yes, sir. Now, on the front of that bus, on top, there's a sign. A sign that tells people where the bus was going. Did you see that sign? I don't know. Could you speak up, please? I don't remember. Did you or didn't you read what the sign said? I guess so. The sign said, not in service, which means that you knew that the bus wasn't going anyplace. No. I thought it was going downtown. Miss Graham, isn't it a fact that you've been taking the bus to the downtown library on a regular basis for almost three years now? Yes, sir. Well, have you ever known the bus to be parked where it was when you got on it? No. But they told me it was. I see. Miss Graham, did you tell Mr. Manning and Mr. Loomis that it was your birthday? Yes. Did you tell them you were having a party? Yes. Didn't you invite Mr. Manning and Mr. Loomis to your party? I did not say that. I did not say that. But you did tell them it was your birthday. Yes. I told them that. You did tell them that you were having a party. Well, sort of. Well, you just said you didn't. Now you say you did. Mama. You, uh, you may step down. Your Honor, I, uh, I've read the psychiatrist's report and I realize... I know, it is all right. Lisa is, uh, yes, yes, somewhat well, mentally deficient. It's just wonderful. Now, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home and then he'll be already... Mentally deficient. Hmm? The public defender in open court is going to take off the kid gloves. Furthermore, Your Honor, I submit that this young woman with the mind of a child of ten is the full physical awareness of a 19-year-old. No! You know something? You know, sometimes I wish I could be ten again. You're just saying that. No way. Yes. Are you kidding? Wow. Always ten. You know the things you can do and the games you can play and the things you can pretend? Hmm? <laughs> you know the things I used to pretend? I used to pretend. Doodle town. It was my own town, my backyard. Doodle town. All these doodle people running around doodle cars. Doodly doodly doodle. Is that like little people town? Same thing. I used to give my little people different names. Did you do that? Hmm. 
Peter Pan is ten. And he never wants to grow up either. And he's always happy. And only children can see him. I know. I haven't seen him for a long time. Until I met you. Manning out on bail, pending what? a decision by the DA whether or not to go to trial. What do you mean, whether or not? Uh, Sims over there convinced the judge at least couldn't stand up to a cross-examination, so he dismissed the rape charge. Well, what about the breaking and entering? Both charges. What are you talking about? We caught the man inside the house. Mr. Manning says she invited him in. <laughs> what is this, some kind of a bad joke? You're going to believe Manning? It's not a question of whether or not I believe him. It's a question of whether the jury will. Hey. Mm. You dropped charges, you're declaring an open season on Lisa. How do you expect us to protect her? Put a 24-hour watch around our house? How do you really believe she didn't know what she was doing? Okay. Lisa! Hey, Lisa! Hey, come on! Come on! Come on! Listen, you can get out of here while you can. I warn you, you try to dismiss these charges, we'll go over your head to the DA. You shouldn't have let me hit him. Forget about that. Now, look, I want to caution you. Until such times as the charge is determined, if you do catch up with Loomis and Manning, the most you can do legally is throw a scare into them. Legally, huh? Now, look, you're not vigilantes. You can't go running rampant on these suspects just because you got a personal feeling. On the other hand, there's nothing in the book that says you can't bring them in on another charge. Thanks. Hey, Starsky. Yeah, this is the bear. Yeah, I told you those two guys you were after were poison on the streets. Yeah. Well, I just had a very interesting phone call from Sam the Greek, the used car salesman. Yeah. He says he isn't fencing anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he says that uh, those two punks, Manning and Loomis, have called him and tried to sell him some hot stuff. Yeah. And Sam said he agreed to meet him at his place in the morning. The only thing is, Sam doesn't want you the guys to make him look like he's a fink. Got it? Okay. Hey, come on, Mousy, will ya? Hey, Sam! Sorry, fellas. Greek was busted earlier this morning for possession of stolen property. Can we do something for you gentlemen? I'll pick all that stuff up and put it back in a gunny sack. Each item's gonna have a little tag with your names on it. It's called evidence. Wouldn't want us to take you in without evidence, would you? Come on, pick it up! You two guys, I can't believe. Look, going your bail this time, you two are in the meet for over $4,000, and that's a lot of money. Storsky and Hutcher are on us like leeches, Mr. Martin. Hey, shut up, Massey. Look, we'll get the dough for you, no problem, as soon as things cool off a little. Things cool off? Yeah. 
You didn't talk about things cooling off when I loaned you the money. How do I tell you two guys I want my money? <laughs> Look, I got two kids in school. I got a wife, and she thinks I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> And I got this plumber who keeps telling me I need a whole new sewer line to the toilet. Look, with these two cops on our backs, we can't turn around, we can't scratch ourselves, we can't even get up the money to eat, let alone pay you. Man, be reasonable. You asked me to be reasonable when I loaned you the money. You told me about all the big people you met in the joint and all the big deals you were going to be in on, didn't you? Huh? And how do you two turn out a couple of degenerates dirty enough to attack a retarded kid? Who was a meal? I didn't want no part of that. Hey, shut up, you fink. But what's the matter with you guys, huh? I mean, what kind of, what kind of filth are you? I'm ashamed to let people know I loaned you to my money. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. First, we gotta get these two cops off your backs. Yeah. 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 And I got a way to do it, huh? It's gonna be a pleasure. What happened? Who did this to you? Two cops. Starsky and Hutch. Oh. Loomis swears you gave Nick Manning a vicious beating. Manning says the same thing, but you two claim... We don't claim, we're telling you. We didn't touch him. Obviously, Sim, someone's trying to frame Starsky and Hutch. Yes, Captain. Well, I'd expect that to be your position. But the facts are that you two dogtailed those two. And busted them for trying to peddle stolen property. Yes, but that used car lot wasn't on your beat, was it? <laughs> Same as you really do have an officious little mind. All I know is that you two were steamed up enough when you heard those rape charges would be dropped. Steamed up enough to punch one of them out. Don't either of you guys know the rights of a suspect under the law, huh? That's really funny. I don't suppose you care about the rights of that little girl. Let's not cloud the issue, huh? It's a little late for that. Oh, uh, by the way, I guess I should tell you that those rape charges are to be dismissed. What? And that gentleman is official. There's nothing we can do about that. It's the system. Most of the time it works. Not so long as people like Sims are around. All he cares about is his won and lost record, just so long as it looks good for the election. That could be a serious charge. Well, maybe we ought to pursue it. Captain, you know that jerk's record as well as we do. The man hasn't lost a felony case in four years, and when there is a chance of him losing it, he plea bargains or petitions to drop the charges like he's doing now. What do you think, Starsky? I'm thinking, what does the DA think? Let's find out. That's not a bad idea. You can't go in there. The district attorney has a very important meeting in progress. What is this? But, sir, I told them. I said Thank that... you very much, miss. We can tell them what we want. We're policemen. Do you realize you're interrupting a very important meeting? On crime and punishment, it was a crime without punishment. It doesn't make any difference at all, just so long as the paperwork balances. You see, I've always been under the impression that you good guys up here were, were here to set things straight. In case you've forgotten, your prosecutors are also hired to protect the innocent. And what you end up doing in the name of justice to those people is a damn sight worse than any crime committed against them. Sims, you know anything about this? Does he know anything about this? Because this clown, two rapists are running around us. Just settle down. Now, take it easy. Settle down. Sims? 
A weak rape case, a retarded girl. These two just don't understand. Don't understand? Weak. What's that? Now, take it easy. Yeah. Just calm down. down. Well, we've been through all this before now, haven't we, Sims? Two o'clock this afternoon, have all the paperwork here, the young lady and her guardian. Yes, sir. Thank you. Why didn't you let us in? Because we're prejudiced. All arresting cops are prejudiced. What well, else is new? Well, at least you got a hearing. Has anything like this ever happened out here before? Not since I've been here. Well, what's taking them so long? Sorry. Hmm? Well, it hasn't even been an hour yet. Yeah, but well, all I've got to do is ask a few. Okay. I sure got a bad gut feeling. Me too. Let go. It's a waste of time. I appreciate you coming down here. I didn't do any good. You saw Nick and Mousy jump off the bus. You... Yeah, but I didn't see what went on inside. Some kind of a, a technical point, a legal. A... It's all the same. Huh? Well, how, how's it going in there? Well, your, your captain doesn't look very happy. The DA can't dismiss this thing. Well, yes, he can. Probably will. I mean, what do we know about law and order and graphs and charts? Well, I got a badge they can throw out with those graphs and charts. I mean it. They dismissed this thing. Thank you, Mrs. Graham. Lisa? Come on, honey. It's over. Come on. Get out of girl. Since you stay here. Very emotional experience for her. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Come on. Well, Nick Manning and yeah. Mousy Loomis had their bail revoked. The charges are now breaking and entering, rape, and attempt murder. Go get them. Look, now, like I said, bail money is added to what you two already owe. Oh, you'll get that back, no problem. I mean, uh, their charges have been dismissed. Yeah. Or, well, they're going to be. Hey, even better. Massey and me are back in the uh, back in business. Right, Mass. Well, uh, assistant DA is pulling Starsky and Hutch off our backs, just like you thought. Somehow I got a feeling I'm not gonna get my new sewer this month. I can't do this. You're telling to them. <laughs> to do this. It's called justice. Sweet justice. Once in a while, it works. It's going up. <laughs> Lisa was uh, three when we found out that she was special. Yeah. And they tried to tell us that it would be better for everybody involved if we put her in an institution. Do you know that's the first time I ever saw Frank cry? Really? Mm-hmm. Anyway, we did go out there. It was a perfectly acceptable place. I mean, the staff was was kind, and there were a lot of little children Lisa's age. There were some grown-ups, too. Oh. <laughs> but we, uh, we just couldn't leave her. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you ever regret that decision? No. I'm too selfish. I love being a mommy. <laughs> Look at that puppy. In six months, he'll be full grown. Lisa will always be a little girl. And what mommy wouldn't love a child that never grows up? 
How about two children? He's all yours. <laughs> <laughs>